one of the top quarterback prospects in a very interesting draft class, has a pretty unique path to the draft. So let's see how Matt got here. On Morgan State, Corral's gonna take a shot downfield. He's got Mingo! Out of Ventura, California, Matt was a stud from the very beginning. But let's just say other factors got in the way at Oaks Christian High. As he simply put, the kids there were never going to have to work a day in their lives. And so after a little brawl with Wayne Gretzky's son, he decided to transfer to Long Beach Poly. Either way, throughout his time at both Oaks Christian and Long Beach, my man was able to put together a pretty solid high school career with over 11,000 yards and 123 touchdowns. With such a stat line at one of the best schools in the country, his near 5 star status was not all that much of a surprise. Nonetheless, since my man was a near top 50 recruit in the country, he had schools like Florida, Bama, USC, and Ole Miss all after him. Although he initially committed to USC, and then Florida, Matt eventually found his spot out there in good old Mississippi with the Rebels. Going into campus at Jordan Tayamu's backup, it was not much of a surprise that he barely played as a freshman, with just over 200 yards and two touchdowns in the very limited time that he did end up playing. Fast forward a bit, and with Jordan leaving the following year, Matt was able to start going into his second year with the team. And so as you could guess, he was looking to prove that his play at Long Beach could translate to the next level. His over 1,300 yards and 6 touchdowns were decent, but not enough to prove that he could hold his own in the offense, as he split time with John Rice Plumley, who funny enough switched positions the following year. Even though Matt wasn't able to prove much on the football field as a sophomore, the new head coach in Lane Kiffin and OC in Jeff Libby trusted him with the offense and he was able to actually do his thing as a junior. Unlike his 1300 the previous year, Matt was able to actually produce with over 3300 and 29 touchdowns along with an additional 500 on the ground. Seems like Kiffin and gang really trusted Matt as he was finally able to show why he was such a high recruit in the first place. Nonetheless, after putting together by far his best season to date, going into likely his last year with the team, it was his time to take it to the next level. Although his over 3,300 yards and 20 touchdowns were about the same as his third year production, he was able to throw for 9 less picks and rush for 7 more. But nonetheless, after 4 years down in Ole Miss, Matt had finally found his own, and upon that got some recognition as one of the best quarterbacks in college football. All things considered, it was only right for Matt to leave on top, and so my man decided to declare for the NFL Draft. A leg injury in the Sugar Bowl ended Matt's season on a sour note but didn't prevent him from becoming one of the biggest quarterback prospects in the whole thing. Although he has proven himself at about the highest level of competition in college football, there are still concerns about his ability to read defenses and size at only 6'1 to 12. I would take the concerns pretty lightly in terms of the height department, because guys like Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, and Drew Brees have proven themselves time and time again in some of the biggest games in all of football. But either way, there have been many questions about his maturity and knowledge of the game, and although he didn't do any position-specific drills at the Combine, he figured that he would show scouts what kind of person he really was. Considering the fact that he's talked about not regarding playing in the Sugar Bowl, even though he had a high ankle sprain that likely affected his draft stock, I would say that Matt has grown a lot throughout his time in Mississippi. His teammates, coaches, and everyone around him sees him as a leader, and so now he's just trying to convince NFL scouts the same thing. And not just that he can lead but that his understanding, physical ability, and vulnerability make him one of the top prospects in the whole thing. It will be a bit of a learning curve no matter where he ends up, but it seems like my man doesn't really care all that much, and in fact would like to potentially learn behind some aging stars. Considering that he has started for the past two years at a high level, I would guess no matter where he ends up, he will likely have a decent opportunity to start once again, but no matter the case, it will not be easy. Thankfully, studs like Eli Manning have given him some wisdom on how to adjust to the next level simply in the statement to just be himself. I doubt there is much better advice than to just be who you are no matter what you do, but I'm sure hearing it from a two-time Super Bowl champ was massive for Matt. It just seems like my man wants to learn anything that he can, whether it's from picking Eli's brain or developing under an aging veteran. From what it seems, Matt just really wants to be the best player that he can be. Considering that Matt is already one of the biggest prospects in his class, if he can keep adding to his game year by year, he could find his own earlier than most of his colleagues. His confidence, touch, arm strength, elusiveness, and all-around athletic ability will just make his whole development process that much easier. Just like how he had to find his own at Old Miss, I'm sure it will take Matt a bit to play as well as he did at Old Miss in the league, but I think he has the patience and drive to do it sooner than later. 
Nonetheless, Matt has a great head on his shoulders, and so I'm guessing the five teams that he's meeting with this week will see that on full display. Anyways, what do you guys think? Is Matt one of the best quarterbacks in the draft? Or do you think his last few years in Ole Miss were pure luck? Let me know in the comments down below. Matt Corral just has something unique about him that gives me the impression that he will surprise many on the next level. So just watch out. Corral looking for an option, scrambling, trying to find anything, and he goes in on his own. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below what stuff you want next. But anyway, see you all soon, and peace out.